Welcome back to the channel everybody. Today I have this Fragner Cascadia from the year 2012 with a Cummins IX6 engine. And the issue in this Cummins IX6 engine was having uh, was oil pressure, low oil pressure in this case. Uh, there was a warning coming in the dashboard and there were several phone calls related to uh, low oil pressure. And um, of course, uh, this is a problem that affects many Cummins ISX over the time, even X15s, because of the low oil pressure. If you wonder, if you ever wonder what is the normal oil pressure on a Cummins ISX engine, it doesn't go over 35 for the newer or 40 for the old ones, and it stays around 15 when it's idling. So when you are driving over the road on high RPMs, probably it's going to stay around 35 to 40. And if you are idling at a hot temperature, this is going to stay around uh, 15. It will depend on the temperature of the oil, the type of oil you use, and many factors. But it doesn't have to low, go lower than 10. If it goes lower than 10, then you will have issues. So the issue was that on this Cummins ISX, the pressure was going, going lower than 12, the 10, and that was um, activating the warning, then the pressure was getting too low, specifically when the engine was running too hot. So in this case, the problem was located right where everybody is scared, the bearings. In this case, we can see the bearings were completely damaged, and this was because of the low oil pressure caused because of the high amount of gap that these bearings were having because of the wear that they already had. This is a problem that affects many Cummins ISX in different um, years and models, depending on what, uh, it doesn't matter what kind of uh, Cummins ISX you have, this is going to affect it. Even the X15s, they suffer similar issues because of the same, they are based on the same platform engine. The engine block is kind of the same. But um, the situation goes then, when this happens, you have to replace all the main bearings and the rod bearings to, to, to fix this issue. And when you are doing so, when you are replacing these, probably these uh, uh, bearings, you have to actually inspect the bolts, the main bearing cap bolts. You can see right now these main bearing cap bolts, they already been reused probably one time, and you can see the damage that this presents. So when you reuse again the main bearing bolts, in this case in the comments I said, you have to be sure that these are going to be good, because if you reuse them and they break, it's going to be a big problem since they can break inside, it's going to be hard to remove them, or they can strip and then later it's going to be hard to remove them back to replace them with a new one. So the in preference, to be uh, secure on your job, all you have to do is to replace all the bearings, all the main, uh, all the main cap bolts bearings, and the bearings at the same time. When you replace the main cap bolts, it's kind of you know just you have you already have to remove them anyway, so you just place them back at the moment of uh, replacing the bearings. And replacing the bearings is going to be part of the solution of the low oil pressure issue. Now, when uh, you are fixing this issue, you have to be sure that the crankshaft is in a good condition. You have to go underneath and check the crankshaft and actually be sure that the crankshaft doesn't present any type of damage. And if the crankshaft is not presenting any damage, you physically have to see every part of the crankshaft uh, on the rods, on the connecting rods and the main caps. See that it's no damage at all. And if you are completely secure and that is, is completely good, you can place everything back, and that will solve the problem of uh, low oil pressure. Of course, and this is just based on an inspection. Before you actually do the main bearings, you have to inspect at least one cap. You have to remove one cap and see if there is any debris of, uh, or uh, wear on the bearing. Now, if you are not sure if your bearings are bad, you probably just have to remove the oil pan I mean, that, that would be one of the easiest ways to know. You have to remove the oil pan and then uh, check if there is any type of debris. There are always debris there when there is a damaged bearing, there is always debris. So you have to see for debris, the color of the debris and the type of material that that debris belongs to. So, and if you find evidence of any type of metal uh, shavings in the, 
in the old pan that means then it's possible then your bearings are bad so you have to replace them before this causes a major problem to the crankshaft and the engine has to be rebuilt completely and um, as consequence on these uh, common size sex the maximum consequence then can happen as i said before the crankshaft can get stuck with the bearing it can spin over and that can cause the crankshaft to lock up as i said before now um, the solution to that will be to replace the crankshaft and do so many things but replacing the bearings when these are about to get damaged is the best way here i have the bearings that were replaced on this common size sex and they're all damaged and this is the the um, the final uh, look of the bearings, as I showed up previously on my video. But now this is mostly all the bearings that are out, and this is the way they look. So basically, they were about to get completely destroyed. But luckily, this engine was safe for a major issue, and now it can go back to the road. And here you have a little explanation about the main bearings and the rod bearings and the lower pressure issues. If you don't take care of these, later you're going to hear that the engine is working a little louder than before. Probably noise and stuff like that and is happening to the uh, bottom part of the engine because of the bearings are working with low power lubrication. And the last condition of this will be the engine not running anymore. Suddenly what happens is then most of the time... Uh, the truck is running and suddenly stops and that means then the engine is destroyed and you have to remove replace the crankshaft a lot of stuff then is involved when this problem happens but here you have it, a little talk about it and um, hopefully in the future i'm going to do videos about how it's like to remove the main bearings on a common size sex step by step so you can see how it's like to do it step by step now limitation of time is one of the issues that's the reason why I couldn't do a video, a detailed video on how to do it, but later I will do it so that way you understand how to do it. Keep on mind that if you have no experience doing main bearings or any type of mechanical experience, don't do this job. I mean, don't replace bearings if you have no idea how it's like to do it because you can destroy your engine. And if you hire someone to do this job, be sure that someone then has experience doing this because it can also damage the engine and it's gonna cause, you know, a high um, amount of money to fix it more than before. So uh, this is something that you guys gotta keep in mind when you are trying to fix your trucks. I know that's something that you guys are very scared to take your trucks to any shop because most of the shops don't have, or either don't have the experience or don't do the job right, uh, or they, they actually charge too much for doing a job. So that is something that you guys got to be careful and I understand the point of many of you actually being scared of uh, taking your truck to a repair shop and then realizing then they overcharging or they did something wrong and you have to do it again. It's, you are going to pay more money than before. But um, that's why I'm doing these videos for you so you can get more idea on how it's like to understand this trucks they are very complex nowadays but little by little i'm getting more videos together so that way you can understand more about these trucks and eventually you want to have more and more information and if you find this video informative just go to the comment section below where you can leave any type of uh, comments and you have experiences about common side access and um, issues with the main bearings just comment below uh, it's very important when you comment below if you are a mechanic too comment below too so that way everybody knows where you are too and you want to uh, uh, advertise yourself you can do it too on the comment section because good mechanics are very hard to find and the country is pretty big so there are always in uh, there is always mechanics needed somewhere be sure to like the video if you want to send support to the channel check the description of the video follow me on instagram francisco my youtube and thank you for watching